Hey everybody, how's it going? We got a tornado warning in our area. From what I saw in the weather report, it looks like it was just going to miss us. Our phones are all beeping and going crazy. We did lose the power here for about a half a second. It just like flickered off and back on, so I'm like, oh crap, then you got to turn the TV back on and all that. So... I sent the doggies inside. Why is this leaking out? Oh, it's got yuck yuck in there. That's why. There. Didn't want that going in my... Ooh, I just sliced my finger. Nice. Just sliced my finger on the tin. That habit of doing that. Ooh, nice wind coming up behind me. So... It's kind of windy out. One of these days, my American flag is just going to get shredded off of that pole. But anyways, so, I'm in here. Paper towel for my... So, we just got an emergency warning. Take shelter in the basement, which I don't have. Um, it's getting really, ooh. Well, maybe this will be the time that her tree blows over in the backyard. Oh, we just lost power? Did we? No. It just got brighter out, my light shut off. Huh. Clouds are kind of moving our way. Until 4.30. I don't even know what time it is right now. Hey, a little wind coming. Yeah, we've just been waiting for that weeping willow tree way out there to fall over. It's barely hanging on. The tree's half rotted, so I don't know what is holding it. It's just like a letter C left. But what I worry about is that tree there. I want to get up there and cut 10, 15 feet off the top of it. Now, these I'm not worried about. These are light trees. They won't do much damage. Oh, nice cool down. Nice. Wow. Time before the storm. I was just going to take the lawnmower out and run it, but instead, this is nice. My uh, wind turbines are spinning like a crazy monkey. Oh, all this time I forgot to open my door to let fresh air in. Dang it. Usually I have a big black spider comes running in from under the doors. Hey. Right. What do you got going over here? Seven amps, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When the wind starts really cranking, I've seen this thing get packed. But right now it's just putting along. Seven, eight amps. These are cool. That was actually ice cold. Not sunny out. So, uh, yeah, like yesterday after I finally caught my breath and, you know, relaxed, took a shower, came back out, I switched the lawnmower with this, uh, I welded this all up, and then the throttle cable broke. It separated underneath. So I have a stopper here now that when you hit the gas, it stops. I pushed a little too hard, but I lubricated all the cables on it. I pulled the center out and just sprayed lube through it um, with this. And then Numb Nuts comes in and he's just licking the straw. I'm like, what are you doing? It must have really tasted great. 
Got to watch him every second of the day. Okay, so what I've just been doing is grabbing some angle iron and I got to drill the hole here. And I'm going to drill the hole so it fits over this like that. So the hole will fit over this end cap. So maybe I don't have to weld it on. You know what I mean? But I'll weld it to the deck. And uh, this is ready to go whenever I decide. I'll just bore it inside. Now it's cooled off in here. It's cooled down quite a bit. So I figure I come out and put around a little while. Amazon should be showing up sooner or later. You know. So I'm just going to move forward on these. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Andy Can Fix Anything. Woo, nice breeze. So she's all back together, spinning nice. I got a little tiny bit of shake out of it. Um, you know, not really that much, a little bit. Oh, here, I'll use this as a guide. Well, but this wheel's off the ground, but, yeah, so what I did was, um, I kept putting rivets on the bent blade, this time I put a little quarter inch bolt with two nuts on it, and that seemed to balance it out just about perfect, and then I, I put my finger line down there in the dirt to line the blades up, there it goes, so, there's the blade right there I put the nut on. You see in the back side. And then I got a new cog belt on. The belt's got cogs on it. I tighten that up. So it isn't a smooth belt like this one, which is not garbage. It looks like the one for the dragster. They've got the little cogs in it. So we are done with that. So we don't need this stuff out now. I can hear that one blade. Man, it sounds awful close. That blade sounds awful close. I gotta slide something in there that's not gonna cause harm to the blade, the piece of paper. I'm not sticking my damn finger in there, but. Okay, so yeah, I got two and a half inches before the blade hits the front screen. That's cool. So these came in today, and uh, Amazon can't read because they're partially mental or something it specifically says put all packages on my side porch so they threw it on the front porch where you know it's well you saw it's raining like crazy out my wife texted me said hey amazon just dropped off at the front porch but wow this box dried up already now you can still see it's wet but so here I am with these. I'm gonna let that fan just run now. So I had to bore the hole out bigger to get over that cap. And then I then I pinched this down in the vise. So I don't know if I'll weld it like that one or maybe I'll weld this one on. Actually they're freaking identical. Yeah, they're identical. Oh, it doesn't matter. So yeah, and then next time I come by a tree or something, it'll hit this and slide past it and not get caught in there. It's driving me crazy. And I'm not going to weld it here. So I'm just going to weld it right in here and not bother back there. I mean, if it pops out, it pops out. But this is one of those stupid push caps 
they just hammer on and grip teeth. So as soon as I hit that with weld, this is going to disintegrate. So that's why I decided to go over it. So there, those are made for that. And then uh, I'll have to do something with the front one. I'm still wearing my my holy sneakers. These are just my garage beaters. That's all they are. These are ten dollars at Walmart. Ten dollars sneakers, and yeah, they wear out fast. But what I like about them is they're all mesh, and it keeps your feet cool. And I had enough of hot feet driving truck, so wearing steel toes sucked. All right, so that's done. One problem fixed. Ooh, that's nice. Feels good. Should have fixed it. Well, I couldn't fix it yesterday, but. Nice. The bottom pulleys, I got it a little better. She still got a little wobble to it, but not that bad. But I got to dump this water out, put fresh water in, because when I'm rinsing my parts off, I reached down and grabbed a whole bunch of metal shavings, which I don't want on my patty cakes. See, this is why I got this lever handle. Just hit down on it. There. Got them all out of there. So we get to fill that back up. Yeah, the temperature seemed to drop down nice. This is what I like about this. Got my own garden hose right in the garage. Turn my turn that one on. You know, then this way, if I ever have a fire, I got my hose right there. I just kick on this valve, this side. But I want to get this bucket probably halfway. So. This water coming out of here is actually better than, than was coming out in the house because this is filtered. The house isn't. Yeah, I spent a lot of money getting this right in here. Do, 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 do. Watch Andy fill the bucket and his toes sticking out of his sneaker. I don't have to tell my wife, I ain't gonna impress anybody. Why do I have to impress anybody? You know, I have nobody to impress. You know, oh hey, your sneaker's got a hole in it. Yeah, I don't care. I'll shut this valve off just in case something ever leaks. All right. Yeah, I dropped um little cable locks in here yesterday, and I couldn't get to them because I, I couldn't find them. Yeah. I'm wearing a shirt. Okay. It says, does this shirt make me look retarded? Actually, it says retired, but I think it's funnier saying retarded. Because I like making fun of myself. You know? All right. Fan's done. Awesome. That is officially done. That's even awesome. Um, my welder won't reach over here, so that's not awesome. I don't want to weld over here anyways. This is a gas station. So, I wanted to try that today, but the rain kind of put a boof on that. And then I just got to make my pieces from the front here so I can stop smashing. Oh, that's all worn out. Man, that's all worn out in there. Oh, well, you know, I'll play with it later. I'm starting to get a little bit hot until the fan came on and I'll feel better, but that's it. I tell you, there is no better thing I ever bought than these reamers. If you're into any kind of metal working, you have to buy these reamers. They're just, they're awesome. 
they're kind of expensive. I think they're over a hundred bucks, but these are uh, the four piece standard reamers. I love them. They work terrific. You know, you got to ream a hole out just a little bit bigger, and there it is. Oof, got to take this in the house. Damn. All right. All right. I'm happy. Still didn't get to my vacuum cleaner hose yet, but there's time. All right. This is great. Get stuff done little by little. And then I'll take this, take the dragster out for a last ride. You know, I only have one hour on that dragster. I checked out the timer on it. And uh, it says an hour. So I'm like, wow, that's all I got on that thing. You know, because you fly down the road with it, you push it back home. You fly down the road with it, and you push it back home again. So most of the time, I, I think, is from pushing it. I wonder if they make a bigger one than 24 inches. You know? Because I get it. Anyways, everybody... That's the end of uh, a good day so far. You know, we didn't get hit by the tornado. Uh, my fan's all fixed back together. A little wobbly. I don't care. It works. So, everything gets wobbly when you get old. Look at Josephine. Look at, look at old trusty Biden. He's wobbly as all hell. Of course, he's 900 years old, but... Anyways, I can't wait to see if that debate's going to happen. But, yeah, there's some sneaky plans in the works. That's what I've been hearing online. So, if they're true or not true, don't know. But that's what I've been hearing. That they're going to they're gonna pull something. So, I don't know if it's going to be then or, you know. They're probably going to cause a war or something. And then, this way you can't transfer presidents... You know, in the middle of something like that. We'll see. Anyways, I don't really give a crap because, you know, the end times are rolling in. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be on the ship out of here. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Maybe the next video or so when the weather gets a little bit better. I'll be taking the old buggy out for a spin down the road. Hopefully this time it should go faster. I'm, I'm guessing it should go faster. I'm assuming. I'm hoping. Alright, take care everybody. God bless. Have a good one. Goodbye.